Since Daniel Craig finally retired from portraying the role of James Bond, a lot of big names are now being attached to the title. One of them is English actor Idris Elba, but in recent news, it looks like the actor is no longer the fan favorite to play the iconic role. In today's video, we'll be listing down why the actor stepped away from the role and who the top five candidates are that could be taking his place. After being named the favorite to succeed Daniel Craig as James Bond, Hollywood star Idris Elba is said to have ended negotiations. Elba is supposedly planning on starting his own film franchise. However, Barbara Broccoli has reportedly received suggestions for other prospective 007s, according to AceShowbiz.com. The actor wanted to create something for himself, but fans and Broccoli wanted him. Nevertheless, he has suggested names to portray 007. He's informally in the decision-making process as he's been in talks with the producers for so long, an insider told The Sun. Broccoli later revealed that Elba was in her plans to replace Craig as the spy. After Daniel Craig's fifth Bond appearance in last year's No Time to Die, calling him a magnificent actor. As for Elba, he's already aware of the rumors and how many fans are looking forward to him portraying the role, but unfortunately, we won't be seeing those come to fruition. He also spoke to The Express about the rumors, acknowledging that he is arguably the most well-known Bond actor in the world, despite having not yet taken on the job. He then said he couldn't talk about it any longer and that enough is enough. Despite this, the Ladbrokes gave the actor a 3 to 1 shot at landing the part when Daniel said No Time to Die in 2021 would be his final appearance as the character. Idris Elba may be out of the picture, but there are some specific names attached to playing the role, and here are some of them. Idris Elba is now the clear favorite to succeed Daniel Craig as 007, according to the bookmakers, who claim to have noticed a surge of interest in him and cut his odds accordingly. Henry Cavill and Reggae Jean Page are the co-favorites of the bookmakers now that Elba is out of the running. For years, Cavill has made it known that, should the chance present itself, he would still be interested in playing the coveted part. In 2021, after Daniel Craig left the action franchise, he told the Sunday Times that time will tell if he will play the famous character in the future. Despite a film insider suggesting earlier this month that the new James Bond must be under 40 and taller than 5 feet 10 inches, they are still in the lead. On August 8th, a source informed the Daily Star that Eon Productions was looking for a fresh-faced replacement for Daniel. They stated that casting an actor in his late 30s would enable him to play the part for at least 10 years, if not three movies. The insider also stated that although production on the following picture might begin as early as winter 2023, Craig's replacement won't be revealed until at least next autumn. Bookies and fan favorites like Elba, Cavill and Page, as well as 44-year-old Tom Hardy, would have been disqualified under the Eon Productions Under 40s casting rule. However, Tom Hardy did say that he wants to portray the role, and he did so in a very unique way, by refusing to talk about it. However, Naomi Harris, the actress who portrays Eve Moneypenny in the franchise, believes that Hardy could bag the role. The Moonlight actress confessed on ITV's Lorraine that she has never worked with Hardy before, but she is obviously a tremendous fan, calling what he does so wonderful and technically difficult. He would make a fantastic Bond, but he also claims that the producers always choose someone who is up and coming. So who are the prospective actors who are rumored to play the role? The current frontrunners are reportedly Richard Madden, 36, and James Norton, 37, with Taron Egerton, 32, John Boyega, 30, and Kit Harington, 35, also reportedly being disqualified due to their supposed 5'10 height requirements. Then there's also British actor Chiwetel Ejiofor, who was also rumored to take up the role of James Bond. What's even more surprising is that this rumor has been going around since 2014. Variety said that producers Barbara and Michael G. Wilson are interested in the Oscar and Golden Globe nominated actor, but have not yet made a formal offer. This was alleged before the November 2015 release of Spectre, and Daniel had already committed to playing Bond again in the forthcoming film and the 25th iteration. But the actor stated to Variety in 2015 that he wanted Michael Pena to play James Bond about his The Martian co-star. So why haven't the producers announced who they're casting as James Bond yet? What's the reason why they're holding this piece of information to the public? In case most of you didn't know, casting roles are pretty tough especially with an iconic role such as James Bond. Plus, there's the fact that the producers have certain criteria that they want to meet for them to cast their actor. Barbara Broccoli already acknowledged that the selection of Craig's 007 successors will take some time. The director maintained that casting an actor to play the classic part of the stylish spy is not an easy task. In an interview with Variety, Barbara stated that this is a major decision and that it's not just any casting role, but it also entails them re-evaluating their direction. Aside from that, 
that, they also stated that they aren't in any rush to name the new face of James Bond, and they also wanted to savor Daniel Craig's last run as the iconic Secret Service agent. I think we have decided that until No Time to Die has had its run and Daniel has been able to, well, we've all been able to savor, reap the benefits of Daniel's wonderful tenure, we're not going to think about it or talk about anybody else, Broccoli stated. The producer also alluded to a revamping of the series by saying that Bond is being reinvented and they are figuring out where to take him. She did, however, add that it would be some time before there were any casting announcements because they were reinventing who he was. The lack of a script also prevents them from writing one until they decide how they would approach the next movie. For those of you who may be hoping the next James Bond could be a woman, we've got unfortunate news for you. Broccoli has specifically stated that Bond won't be a woman. In September, Broccoli told the PA news agency that James Bond is a male figure and that she believes there will be a huge number of movies made with women, for women, by women, for women. I don't think we have to take a male character and have a woman portray him. So yes, I see him as a male, the producer said. As for Daniel Craig, he revealed that when Broccoli first told him that he would have to appear in four movies, he asked whether the character could be killed off. The actor admitted that it was a lot to be told he'd have to make such a commitment to the part, setting the stage for the agent's unexpected demise many years later. The actor made his fifth and final appearance as 007 in No Time to Die last year. Speaking earlier this year on the Awards Chatter podcast, the actor described the moment he broke down during the final day of filming and expressed his belief that Bond was happy and fulfilled when he ultimately met his maker. Craig recalls being in the backseat of a black Mercedes as it left the Casino Royale premiere in Berlin, along with Barbara Broccoli. When the producer was asked how many movies Craig needed to make, she said four. After giving it some thought, Craig asked Broccoli if his character could be murdered after completing four films, and she agreed. I had sort of a plan in my head. I don't know what the plan was, that if we got it right and if we got it to a place, then they needed to reset, the actor explained and added, and to properly reset, you need to get rid of one idea of it and start another idea of it. And I just felt like, get rid of my version and someone else can start, and they can start their version. Due to the coronavirus outbreak, the most recent film in the long-running spy series was delayed three times, but it still managed to become the largest Hollywood release of 2021. After 2015's Spectre, there was great debate about whether the actor would continue as the renowned secret agent 007, but he said that one plotline from his first Bond movie, 2006's Casino Royale, persuaded him to return for one final time. And that's pretty much everything we have so far about the future of James Bond. Who do you think will portray this iconic character best? Let us know in the comments section below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.